G'day mate, Forty here. I'm listening to a Mark Shapiro lecture and uh, makes the point that uh, Italians just have a very different attitude towards the body, even Jewish Italians. This book is going to have five, it's going to say five heads because there's five chapters. But look what the little boys are doing. And can anyone explain to me why this is obviously a uh, uh, something, there's something, this is part of the uh, artistic uh, symbolism in Italy uh, during the uh, what is that, 17th century. Uh, uh, 18th or 17th century, I, three boys urinating there, I, or uh, the, the booty, I don't know, and this is repeated four more times at the beginning of each section. I, if anyone knows about art history, I tried to... Okay, so putting photos of boys urinating is not a major trend in Jewish holy books, right? Only happens with the Italian versions. Find the answer. All I could find was that you have a couple in Italy, you have a couple fountains that have images like that. But for the life of me, I don't know why you put it in a book, and for the double life of me, I don't know why you put it in a safer. It's, I'm not to say it's unseistic, it just seems uh, stupid. I mean, I don't know what's not, but I, that's because I'm missing something. There must be something here that I don't know, and I, I, I just thought you'd find this interesting, uh, that this appears in a safe. Once you start looking in these old furry, you come across all sorts of weird stuff. Uh, so uh, I'll take any suggestions. Okay, getting back to our story. So we just saw the uh, Regapify Rakanati permitting an organ, permitting an object to play on Shabbos. Now, well, already in the 17th century, the truth of what we just saw is uh, the early 19th century. Already in the 17th century, there were synagogues that had organs in them. It's one of the synagogues that used Okay, so the, the main point is that uh, Italians tend to have very different attitude towards nudity than other Jews. So I had a friend who was an Orthodox Jewish nudist, but that's exceedingly, exceedingly rare. Right? That's not how Jews typically roll. Right? You'd be hard pressed to think of anything more non-Jewish than uh, public nudity. Right? That's uh, a Greek thing. Many other cultures do it. So the Catholics have their justification. All right, their Christian justifications for paintings of the nude body, but very rare thing in Jewish holy works such as prayer books. But uh, with the exception with Italian Jews. This appears in uh, in Venice in seventeen fifteen, but it's published by the um, the yeshiva, the Talmud Torah. They call it Talmud Torah. That's the yeshiva of Ferrara. And what it was is he had all the different rabbis, Tamir Chachamim, who were members of the yeshiva, would publish uh, their true vote. And uh, the editors of it, one of them we see here was Yitzhak Kompranti, the famous Yitzhak Kompranti, the Pacha Yitzhak. I said already that Professor David Malkiel was just coming out with a book in English Academic Studies Press. On, uh, this, is, this is an encyclopedia, a multi-volume encyclopedia of Halacha called the Pacha Yitzhak. Uh, and you see there the, I don't actually think technically they're not called cherubs, they're uh, puti, I think, uh, which uh, we use the term puti for uh, young boys like that. And you see that, uh, well, you see they're naked, and uh, the nakedness in Italy, and a different approach to, to the human body that uh, we're used to, uh, less puritanical, and uh, I can show you numerous uh, title pages of Sfari, which have um, not just men, women in various states of undress. If you look at my book, Change the Immutable, I have some pictures. Okay, so Sfari means holy, holy books in uh, Judaism. I said, I know of no example of any rabbi that ever protested these title pages, these pictures, and uh, I don't need to show you the name, just look at the book, I'm sure you've seen them all. Uh, today, they never would. They were considered unsteastic, uh, but uh, I think it's almost like uh, the Catholic justification of uh, the, the human body in, uh, in, in painting. It's the same thing. Pope John Paul II even has a, gave a speech on this, which you can find online, about when they did the, they reworked the Sistine Chapel, and he spoke about the human body. That's, that's the only way I can explain it. It definitely was not regarded as unsteast. You have this in, and you, you don't only have it in Italian printing and national printing, you even have it in, uh, in Eastern European printings uh, as well. So, uh, so leave that aside, that's not an issue. But I want to show you that with something else, which I can't understand. All right, that's... Uh... Mark Shapiro there from Torah in Motion and uh, this is his uh, March 14 talk, The Rise of Reform and the Rabbinic Response.